Salute to all the real ones out there. It's your boy Mike coming at you again with another video. All right, if you've seen my other videos or my content, you like the direction that my channel is going in, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and share the videos with anybody you think uh, may get some use out of them. Okay, so today's topic is going to be about health and fitness is imperative. Now, notice that this is a bit a topic that I constantly revisit, and I'd say probably if I uploaded 20 videos, easily 10 or half of those videos, I've mentioned somewhere within them that health and fitness is, is important. Whether I talked about lifting weights or I talked about in my one video, Conquering Fear, I mentioned that you know in the beginning on my fitness journey, I didn't really feel so comfortable with going to the gym and lifting weights. I mean, a lot of people were stronger than me and I felt, let's say, intimidated by the idea of getting in the gym and not being able to, uh, let's say, hold my own in the presence of other people who had an idea about how to do certain exercises. Um, I think I also mentioned in, let's say, uh, it was a video I made about uh, a code of conduct, and I think I mentioned fitness as my first one. My first important point of value that I'm trying to drive home to uh, young men, that you have to be in shape and it's important for you to be strong. You establish your masculinity, boost your testosterone naturally, so on and so forth. So. I just want to you know, use this time to dedicate purely to this topic all of my thoughts and findings that uh, revolve around health and fitness, okay? So we are given one body to travel about in this physical reality. It is often said that one should not judge a book by its cover, but another saying goes, the first impression you make is usually the most valuable, and it's hard to, let's say, change a first impression. They seem to be very lasting. By taking care of your body, you convey self-respect and confidence into the world, which can induce a halo effect. To put these ideas into a practical example, let's imagine a two-sided scenario, all right? So let's say you get pulled over, you're on the highway, right? And you know how the cop pull you over, you know, he throws his lights on and you're thinking, fuck, like I just got a ticket, you know, now I got to sit here and look stupid on the side of the road. You know, they keep the lights on so anybody driving past knows that you did something wrong. Nobody loves this feeling, all right? But um, let's say, you know, you, you got an officer that walks up and he's like really in shape. He's really fit, all right? It's kind of like he's an authority figure and you're going to take him more serious. Now, all, all things being even, let's say he's a nice officer. He just pulls you over and says, hey, you know, um, I noticed that your headlight was out. I just wanted to, you know, let you know this, that, and the third. All right. You're, you're getting off of the ticket, so it's not even a big deal. But by him being in shape and walking up, you know, clearly as somebody who is in a position of authority being a cop, and he takes care of his body and you can physically see that he's a strong man, all right? You will probably take him a lot more serious than if, take the same situation, some fat sloppy cop gets out and you know he probably can't even, you know, bench press his own body weight or do a series of push-ups. Now, it's the same situation. You're getting off of the ticket and you thought you were going to get hemmed up, but how you look at that person will probably be much different and it's all based on the fact that the first guy that I named was in shape. So if you bring it over to any other situation, there is a unspoken respect that people who are in shape receive versus people who are not. And that's what I'm harping on. Like, let that play into your favor. You know, the halo effect is real. And the halo effect, if you guys have never heard of it, it's basically the people who are more attractive seem to get things handed to them. They, they receive opportunities based on the fact that when someone looks at you and conveys you or thinks of you as someone who's attractive, they also attribute other nice qualities to you based on your appearance. So let's say there's a criminal, right? And then he's handsome and he gets arrested. Like everyone's willing to give him more of the benefit of the doubt. And they will also assume that he knew better than if it was an ugly criminal who looks all scruffy and all, you know, not attractive, the opposite sex finds him like, uh, whatever, bottom of the barrel. It's kind of like he's even looking at maybe a harsher sentence or more public scrutiny just for the simple fact that he's not attractive. That's an example of the halo effect. Or 
a beautiful girl walks in, then the average girl walks in, and let's say both of them need help with something, more people will jump up to help the attractive female just on the fact that she is physically gorgeous. So that's why I say, regardless of what you look like, the halo effect can work in your favor if you're in shape. You see what I mean? Like people are more willing to show you respect and to listen to you and or reach out to you or link good qualities to you just off of your physical appearance alone. So by working out, I mean, you kind of mitigate <laughs> some of these things. Like you don't have to be the most gorgeous person ever, but working out will only help you to improve. All right. So. I'm of the opinion that weightlifting and resistance training is a tried and true method of improving improving one's overall life. So here are some of the positives. First off, you get total body strength. Where is that ever gonna hurt you in your life to just be stronger? Life doesn't get harder as you get older. You may get wiser, but I feel like the challenges that will come to you uh, will, will, will increase in their intensity, will increase in their duration, will also come at you and kind of see what you're made of. Life is not made for people who are soft, you know? And I think that the universe will continue throwing stuff your way until you can finally pass the test. But by being physically stronger, it's like you are now more equipped with the willpower to trudge through anything that presents itself as an obstacle. Better sleep. Yo, this is hands down something I noticed. When I, when I didn't work out, or I would like, you know, my workouts were different. I'm talking specifically about lifting weights. Uh, when I used to just do, you know, push-ups, calisthenics, and uh, aerobics, running around and shit like that, like, it was always hard for me to fall asleep. It was always a long period where I would toss, turn, and feel uncomfortable before I actually got into a deep sleep. But now, since I lift weights on a regular, it's almost like once I lay down, it maybe it might be five minutes and I'm out like a light, you know? A fit physique. Yo, this will never hurt you at all. You throw on some clothes, they just look better. You know, you walk into a room, people, male and female, and even children too, would just, you know, notice that you have a nice figure. So that's one another positive. Boost in confidence. This is going to happen immediately. Already, just, you know, it, it, the results may take a while to really come. You know, you, you want to get real strong with bench press and, you know, it, might, it may take you a whole year before you actually meet your goal, depending on what the goal is. But every time you leave the gym, just the fact that you know, I could have spent this whole time sitting on the couch watching TV, but I made myself go. I physically, you know, sweat and put in some work and I feel, you know, pain a little bit in my muscle soreness and stuff like that that's going to boost your confidence automatically. You know what I mean? Because you know that you just did something that was about self-improvement. Rise in cognitive function. Believe it or not, people who work out have an easier time concentrating on a task and or learning new things. Because it's like, people always like to separate the mind and the body, but everything works in unison. Like, have you ever heard somebody say, hey, man, I'm trying to lose some weight right here. It's like, no, you can't just lose weight in one spot of your body. You have to lose overall weight. Now, you can target one part of your body, but everything is working together as a unit. So uh, the, if you have a healthy body, and you're, you're, you're probably going to have a healthy mind. And then when a healthy mind and body, then you also have a healthy spirit. You see how everything is like intertwined into one? Higher concentration. That kind of ties in with the... Uh, cognitive function because it, for anybody who works out you know for a fact if you can muster up the courage to know or muster up the courage to go to a gym you know you're going to be in there you know throwing some weights around but if I put the deadlift bar in front of you you're going to have to concentrate dog <laughs> you can't be over here thinking about some other bullshit from work I mean you can use anger and frustration from your day stress to motivate you as you lift the weight. Yeah, that's one thing. But I'm saying by and large, you have to concentrate on what the fuck you're doing. Unless you wanna you know, put strain one of your, your, the disc in your back or have a serious injury, you better pay attention to what the hell you're doing. So if you can now you know, do a whole workout with deadlifts, for example, 
And then you go to work the next day and somebody puts a paper in front of you and says, hey, man, we need you to work on this report. Or, hey, man, we need to figure out this problem. It's going to be a lot easier for you to direct your focus directly at it. You know, and since you're physically stronger, it's going to be easier for you to be mentally stronger, too. Increase testosterone. Now, I'm speaking to my males on this. All right. Testosterone is basically I consider it like the God, the God uh, hormone. I mean, it's so much stuff that men use testosterone for or benef the benefits from testosterone can be largely seen in a male that has normal levels all right first of all his hair is going to be more on point he's not going to be losing hair second you know he's going to have uh, more strength just period third more willpower you see like where is this ever going to hurt you to have more testosterone if you're a male stronger bones and increased bone density now, what's the number one problem that older people have? Brittle ass bones. They fall and what they fall and they can't get up, broke their whole hip. You really think that happens to a dude who consistently lifts weights throughout his 40s, 50s, and 60s? A dude who did that is going to have stronger bones automatically. So it's going to be less brittle and there's going to be less of a chance that he'll just fall and get hurt like that. So that's another benefit of just lifting weights. You're, you're making your entire body stronger. It's not just muscles that, oh, yeah, yeah, look at my arm. No, it's the muscles underneath, the tendons, the ligaments, all of that. They get used to moving and fighting against resistance. And what did I say in one of my other videos? You only grow when you're out of your comfort zone. Lifting weights will definitely put you out of your comfort zone. And on top of that, you get stronger. Your body gets used to it. So then you have to add more weight which is always gonna keep you on a challenge and you're never gonna be able to just lift all the weights in the world. So by doing that over your lifespan, you're just gonna be way more healthy than other people. You won't, you'll have stronger bones that will help you carry yourself and you won't have to worry about the injuries that most old people go through. Mental fortitude, <laughs> you're definitely gonna have that. We've all been there. If you've lifted weights, don't feel like it. You get in the gym, you're like, ah, oh, man, I really don't have energy. But when you push through, your last set and know that you gave it everything you had and you're walking downstairs after that <laughs> yeah you just made your mind stronger too to overcome adversity and to go through things that you know you have to accomplish uh, better posture <laughs> one of my favorite uh, exercises is deadlift because it's the most simple exercise you don't really need a whole bunch of you don't really need anything actually you just need a bar weight and that's it, you know what I mean? You don't need a machine or some complex movement. It's literally a very universal movement to pick something up off the floor. And if you can move that weight, listen, that's gonna make your whole back stronger, back of your legs, it's called the posterior chain. All right, because most of us, you know, we're always focused on the front. You know, we'll, we'll do the leg extensions, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll push with the leg press, we'll do squats and all of that. But you kind of neglect the back of your body and deadlifts hit like so many major muscles I mean it's almost impossible for you not to stand up straight when all your muscles in your lower back all the way up to the back of your neck all the way down to your ankles all got stronger you'll be standing up like honestly a lot of people have been asking me dude did you get taller I'm like no I don't think I got taller I think it's just my muscles are stronger so it's easier for me to stand very erect all right clothing I said it earlier your clothing will fit better <laughs> For all you females out there that, oh, I wish I lost this, or oh, let me go get my tummy tucked, man, get the fuck out of here. Just go lift some weights, I guarantee all of that stuff will fit better. You'll feel even more confident to wear the stuff that you have in the back of your closet. Regulate your weight. Listen, one pound of muscle is 16 times more dense than one pound of fat. So, like, fat is like this big, right? And that's one pound. The muscle would be like that big. So think about it. You could you could even weigh more, but look like you weigh less just because you have more muscle than a fat person. So your weight will be regulated. You know what I mean? It won't be going all up and down. If you're building muscle, it's constantly burning fat, and you'll get used to eating and everything like that. And your body becomes like a machine, a fat burning machine. Balance brain chemistry. Like people who are depressed, they usually have hormones that are out of out of whack. But how can you, for example, be depressed if you're hitting weights? 
you're going to rebalance all of your hormones in your body and certain things like testosterone, for example, in males, a lot of people, males who are depressed, they have a low testosterone level. But if you're lifting weights, you're boosting your testosterone level. So all those hormones that cause you to sit there and be anxious and, you know, sad and out of energy, you're going to reverse all of that just by lifting weights. Crush depression. It goes right back to what I said before. How the fuck can you really be depressed after you just moved a whole bunch of weight? You're going to feel better and your confidence will improve. Killing depression. Fights illness. Your body's stronger. Everything about it is stronger. Even your immune system. So you don't have to worry about the seasonal cold or flu as much as somebody who, for example, is always cold and always weak. You strong. Your whole blood is flowing better. You feel like a kicking ass, like a kick-ass machine. A little cold will go through your system so quick you ain't even tripping so that's neither here nor there hope y'all got something out of this video I'm just talking about all how uh, health and fitness is imperative like comment subscribe holla back